The real reasons you feel constantly tired. Ever wake up tired no matter how much you sleep or feel like you need sugar and caffeine just to function? Maybe you crash hard after meals or feel completely drained by midday. The problem isn't just not getting enough sleep, it's actually something much deeper. Your body runs on trillions of tiny power stations called mitochondria. These are the energy factories inside your cells. When they work properly, you wake up refreshed, energised and can think clearly all day long. But when they break down, you can start feeling constantly tired. No matter how much you rest, your energy never fully recharges. You rely on sugar and caffeine just to get through the day, but you still feel exhausted and drained. Or you have sudden waves of exhaustion and energy crashes, especially after a meal or mild exercise. If you've been feeling like this for weeks, months or even years as I did in the past, please know that it is not normal. Today we'll be looking at 6 hidden reasons why you may feel constantly tired and some very simple ways to support natural energy production by helping your mitochondria to function better. 1. High Cortisol the first and most common cause of constant tiredness is high cortisol, your body's main stress hormone. When you're stressed out, your adrenal glands pump out more cortisol to give you quick energy. But too much cortisol forces your body to flood itself with sugar, which overworks your mitochondria and burns out your energy supply. Worst of all, it wrecks your sleep cycles. High cortisol blocks deep sleep, making you feel wired at night but exhausted all day. To fix this, you need to start to calm down your nervous system. Breathing exercises, lemon balm tea and relaxation techniques can all help to lower cortisol naturally. 2. Low Vitamin B1 Stress can also drain your vitamin B1 levels and without it, your body struggles to turn foods into energy. If you're yawning all day long, feeling mentally foggy or struggling to exercise, low B1 may be the reason. Drinking too much caffeine from coffee, soda or energy drinks also depletes your B1 reserves. To fix this, simply eat more sunflower seeds, nutritional yeast flakes and grass-fed beef to restore your B1 levels. The best part is that boosting your B1 also helps to lower cortisol, fixing two problems at once. Cause number three is eating too much processed food. Those mitochondrial energy factories in your cells need real nutrients to power them. But most of the processed foods are stripped of their B vitamins, minerals and electrons which are the raw materials needed to produce ATP energy. These foods also cause inflammation which can further block energy production. This is why people who switch to whole foods feel more energetic almost instantly and I'll talk more about this later. Reason number 4 and it's a big one is insulin resistance. When you eat too many refined carbs, sugars and vegetable oils, your cells can become insulin resistant. This means that sugar can get stuck in your blood and it's unable to go into the cells and the mitochondria where it's needed for energy. So with no fuel to burn, the energy factories slow down so you begin feeling groggy, tired, brain foggy or having energy crashes. Fortunately, this can easily be reversed by correcting your diet, fasting and getting more magnesium. 5. Low Coenzyme Q10 Coenzyme Q10 plays a very important role in supporting your mitochondria to produce ATP. This is the energy that your body runs on. As you age, naturally your CoQ10 levels go down and certain medications like statins or diabetes drugs can also block its production completely. Without enough CoQ10, your cells simply can't generate enough energy, leading to chronic tiredness. But you can boost your CoQ10 easily by eating organ meats like liver and heart or by taking a ubiquinol supplement. And reason number 6 could be a sluggish liver. 
your liver plays an important role in releasing stored energy into your bloodstream. However, if your liver is sluggish due to fatty liver, processed foods, alcohol or toxin buildup, it can struggle to regulate energy efficiently. People with a high amount of visceral fat around their belly often experience fatigue, brain fog and a slower metabolism because of this issue. Some other simple tiredness triggers that you should be aware of include sleep apnea where you stop and start breathing during your sleep. This reduces oxygen levels in the brain so you don't rest and recover properly. Low blood pressure can also restrict oxygen to your muscles and brain. Not drinking enough water can make your blood thicker which forces your heart to work harder and uses up energy. And low potassium salt or magnesium can disrupt nerve signalling causing you to feel tired. How to bring back your energy naturally Now that you're aware of some of the issues that may be draining your energy and weakening your mitochondria energy factories, the next step is to support your body's natural ability to sustain energy with some simple lifestyle adjustments. Firstly, avoid drinking more than one cup of coffee per day as the caffeine can raise cortisol and trigger excessive tiredness. After two to three weeks of cutting back, you'll notice higher energy output, better sleep and a calmer state of mind. Lemon Balm Tea Support relaxation and a balanced cortisol response by drinking lemon balm tea one hour before bed. This adaptogenic herb helps to restore sleep, lower stress and cortisol and help your mitochondria to make energy properly. Raise your B vitamins daily by adding 3 tablespoons of unfortified nutritional yeast flakes to soups, salads, stir fries or you can mix it into yoghurt. You can also get natural B1 from sunflower seeds, organic pork, wild salmon, garlic, asparagus and mussels. B1 acts like a spark plug, igniting the engines in your cells to convert food into energy and also to help lower cortisol. Eat real food If you eat a lot of packaged foods that sit on the supermarket shelves that are high in flour, sugar, starch or fructose, be aware that these are essentially dead foods that are stripped full of all of the nutrients that your body needs to generate energy. So you want to start replacing them with real whole foods naturally high in electrons so that your cells can use them to generate energy. Fresh cuts of meat, oily fish, non-starchy vegetables, low carb berries, eggs, macadamia nuts, kefir, sauerkraut and fruits are all much better options. There's also certain plant-based compounds that help to energise your mitochondria and protect them against damage. Quercetin in onions and resveratrol in berries for example can help your body grow more mitochondria. Curcumin in turmeric and sulforaphane in broccoli sprouts can reduce oxidative stress helping your energy factories to stay running efficiently. So adding these to your meals can naturally enhance energy production and overall vitality. Help your cells absorb energy Instead of eating three meals a day with snacks, normalise your blood sugar by eating two solid meals per day which are high in nutritious whole foods. Over time, your cells become more sensitive to insulin which helps fuel into your cells ready to be turned into energy by your mitochondria. Hydrate your body Start to drink at least 1.5 litres of carbonated mineral water every day. The CO2 bubbles can help your cells absorb oxygen which is then used by your mitochondria to make more energy. This is called the Boer effect. Adding a tiny pinch of Celtic sea salt to the water can also help provide electrolytes for your mitochondria. Daily movement Go for a 20 minute walk outside every morning. Regular exercise actually trains your mitochondria to generate more ATP energy. Sunlight and fresh air also regulates cortisol and naturally lowers stress. And sunlight can also raise your vitamin D and melatonin levels which are key hormones that support higher energy output. 
Going for a short walk or stretching after a meal can also help to avoid those energy crashes by stabilizing blood sugar. Raise CoQ10. Strengthen quadrillions of mitochondria throughout your body by increasing your CoQ10 levels. Do this by eating more organ meats like beef liver, heart and kidneys. You can also get these in the form of a spreadable pate. Include fatty fish like sardines, mackerel, canned cod liver and wild salmon which are naturally high in CoQ10 as well. And use extra virgin olive oil as your main fat source as this contains polyphenols which help your body recycle and produce CoQ10. I also suggest prioritizing eating pasture raised eggs which provide natural CoQ10 and healthy fats that fuel energy production. And liver support. If you're overweight, have a long history of eating junk foods or drinking alcohol perhaps, help your liver out by drinking freshly squeezed lemon juice in a glass of water often. And also eat sulfur rich vegetables like garlic, onions, cabbage, radishes, broccoli, cauliflower and brussels sprouts. These will help your liver metabolize fuel properly, making your energy factories much more efficient. Finally, let's take a look at some supplements that support mitochondrial energy production in your cells. Magnesium glycinate is a highly absorbable form of magnesium that helps ease stress, improve sleep and support ATP production. Personally, I like to take two capsules in the morning and another two at night. Performance Lab Sleep A sleep formula with magnesium, tart cherry and L-tryptophan to enhance deep sleep and energy recovery. I take two capsules of these before bed for better energy the following day. Re electrolyte powders can replenish potassium, sodium and magnesium which are key minerals that fuel the mitochondria and keep energy levels stable. And if you have any type of digestive problems there are digestive enzyme blends available which also have added ox bile and betaine hydrochloride which help the small intestines to absorb more nutrients which support energy production. Many people also start their day with a glass of water and a tiny pinch of sea salt. For more information on this watch the video that I've put on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.